Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janda, and this is my let's play of Rule the Waves 3 as the United States. We are still at war with France. It's been maybe not longer, but harder than anticipated with them committing a lot of forces to the Caribbean to try to defend the French Antilles, which has been resisting our invasion for I'm pretty sure more than six months now, despite only having a land area of like I don't, I mean, it's far smaller than, like, probably altogether it doesn't amount to Puerto Rico. It's not a large collection of islands, really. But uh, I think after two major naval battles that we've finally established a winning advantage. Um, so far as construction goes, we have a good number of destroyers being built. We're about to finish the last Juno-class cruiser. And... The French Navy's uh, Dreadnought Force is reduced to just 9 plus 1 battlecruiser against our 10 and 5, and ours are much heavier on average. So hopefully we can strike a final winning blow. I think they are going to start declining battles much more now, because they're finally running out of forces in the Caribbean. Commission San Francisco. They are building more light. We're going to have to build more light carriers once this war ends. But I'm hoping to just hold out until we can build actual... In fact, better aircraft handling, more capacity, reduced ready times. Fantastic. Aha! We've taken the French Antilles. At last... Uh, why are you ghostly? There we go. At last, the war in the Caribbean is over. Right, France still has a lot of ships here, but I assume they'll move them next turn. I am going to move a good chunk of the fleet out to Southeast Asia so that we can commence invading French Indochina now. Um, in the meantime... What was this? Um, aircraft carrier. So we can build full CVs. So that's right. Yeah. So we're going to build those and not screw around with light carriers much. Um, just as soon as the war is over. Maybe even before the war is over, considering we have a big budget surplus again. So maybe it's time to design a carrier, actually. For now, apparently... Several of these, two of our Minnesotas are in dry dock, but I'm going to send Minnesota, Constellation, um, two Brooklyns, and four Junos, plus all of the latest Winslow class. I'm going to immediately detach them to Southeast Asia at their best speed. For now, I'm going to leave. Uh, we have the Kentucky class and two constellations. Is that? Yeah, two constellations over there. Uh, we're going to leave them there so that we can maintain naval superiority while the transit's happening. And we're going to target Tonkin first for no other reason other than that it's closest to our existing possessions in Hainan. The French do have an airfield over here. It's in Tonkin, even. Oh, and they have another one in Anam, actually. But I think they only have a total of about 20 aircraft between them, so I'm not too worried about that. They don't have any significant ships over here. Okay, are we building enough? I'm not actually sure about our destroyer construction. Hold on. No, I'm calculating this for about the 20th time. We have 61 in service, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 that I'm trying to replace. So that's 22, and we're only building 3, 
six, nine, twelve. I should lay down about ten more destroyers, I guess. Yeah. I think that math checks out. Well, that's going to be very expensive. And nothing's going to be finished anytime soon. So we're going to start by laying down four and see how that goes. Immediately, a convoy defense. They're probably going to decline. They don't have any ships over there really right now. So. Hmm. Well, this is a very fast battle cruiser. Um, can't say I love the armament layout, but it's quite a nice battle cruiser. I mean, it's forty-three thousand tons, so that's not too bad. I mean, if you're gonna go for like a Nelson type layout, then at least actually put all three guns forward, though. Improved watertight hatches, better damage control. Apparently, quadruple turrets are beyond our scientific capabilities. Muzzle velocity for AP penetration, electric engines, better submarines, hydrophones, better anti-submarines. We really are kind of monopolizing this area, finally, which was the objective to start with. We'll have to fight Britain again, I mean, for sure, at some point in order to chase them out of the... Caribbean and Canada, basically. But in the meantime, yeah, French into China. Very rich target. Okay, it's a floatplane scout. No, oh, they've built a new fighter. And one of our submarines sank their Corvette boot design in a gun duel. Oof. And we sank one of their submarines. Good job, Whipple. But Saratoga is apparently in dry dock for five months due to a submarine torpedo, which, that's painful. On the other hand, however, she's basically being held in reserve in the Caribbean now. Where's the French battleships at? They're not in Northern Europe, and they're not in the Caribbean anymore. Where? Oh, they're all in the Mediterranean. Which is also a French home region, so it's hard to draw any conclusions from that. Our reinforcements are about to arrive here, although we're beyond our base capacity here, which is only... 90? Yeah. I mean, we're only slightly, but we'll have to withdraw some more stuff once the reinforcements arrive, I guess. What? The French are accepting this engagement? Did they even have any small assets? Okay, well we have, I think these are all Juno class, yeah. The Juno class cruisers, USS Oakland, Galveston, and Flint. Plus five destroyers, and we're engaging, I don't know what. We do have to be weary of French land-based aircraft, but they only have about 20 in the whole theater, probably 10 in range, so I'm not... Wait, is that actually just a battleship? Um... I think maybe it's just a... It's a Paris-class battleship. Well... Obviously, we can't really fight that. I mean, we can't fight a gun battle with that. It has 12, 16, no, 9, 16 inch guns. Still too many. The only reason I'm not immediately, like, ordering everything to just run is that it's kind of close to being dark, and it has no escorting destroyers that I can see. 
So what I'm going to do is get everybody to turn away from it and wait for darkness to fall. Okay, that unfortunate destroyer just took a 16-inch shell, so it's dead. Um, yeah, we're going to try to bait it um, just away from its ports and keep it engaging us until darkness falls, which will be very shortly, at least twilight. And then once that happens, we're going to see if we can torpedo it. Her. Her. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to help. That's not full darkness. It's just twilight, but that's already a good start. Yeah, we can get in a lot closer without getting um, shot at now. Now the question is, can we find her and can we torpedo her? She has, so far as I can see, absolutely no escorts. Which means if, that if we did find her in the dark, um, our chances of torpedoing would be pretty decent. Ah, full dark before we could find her, though. Now it's anyone's guess whether we'll find her at all. Very possibly not. Hmm. Yeah. We've probably lost her then. Alright, back to Hainan with us. Not sure if our one destroyer is going to sink or not, but uh, I thought I was on about the right course to intercept her, but it's hard to judge in the dark. Kind of crazy of the game to give us three light cruisers and a couple of destroyers to fight a battleship when I have a bunch of battleships in the theater, but... Um, To be fair, I do think it was maybe winnable with the... Yeah, it just went back into port. I don't know who ta they won, but that's... The tiny drop in the bucket against the number of VP we both have. That's the same battle cruiser we saw a minute ago. Voice radio. Signaling error is less likely. Airship diesel engines. Better airships. And we have invaded Tonkin... And USS Roe has sunk the enemy submarine Corrigan. And we have a bunch of money spare again. Which I'm going to spend on... Six more destroyers. I think that will... I think that's the right number of destroyers building now to replace everything, hopefully. Worst case, if I accidentally built too many, we can scrap some Lawrence's or something. Because they don't have five inch guns, so they're not as good as the new ones anyway. All right, has France reinforced? It's still just one battleship. We are over the cap enough that I'm going to move uh, two of the Kentuckys and one Constitution out along with I guess those two and the Ultra Destroyers and those can all just head back to the Central Pacific for now what's left should be more than sufficient to um Conquer Tonkin, considering the French aren't even trying to defend it. It's unfortunate. 
Um, what? No, obviously not. Continued operations will secure a total victory. We're not making a peace without um, them making major concessions at this point. Oh, good job, Martin. This is significantly faster and lo significantly faster and longer range. So that's a major upgrade. Okay, our destroyers are having a pretty fair amount of success against the French submarines. There goes Espadon. Forbin's been interned. Yeah, the French um, raiding war is not at all succeeding. Apparently, they're building 52 submarines, so maybe it's better we end the war before all those are finished. But they only have nine actually in service, so. And, well, I'm building 22 destroyers, so that'll help counter those 52 submarines if it does come to that. Oh, God. What's wrong with our condensers? Bad batch? Enemy fortifications are holding up our advance. We're not too fast about these amphibious assaults, are we? At least Tonkin is actually physically large. Um, on the other hand, France hardly has any ships. I mean, they've moved some more cruisers and destroyers into here, but until they get an actual um, battleship force, they're definitely not going to be able to hold us off. I guess I should have sent um, sent San Diego over to the Southeast Asia also. Give us a little more. I'm actually well, well, you know, I wasn't well under the cap, except all of my battleships have condenser trouble all of a sudden. It is probably partially from them being overseas. We're having a lot of hunting accidents here. I'm gonna fire. I mean, this is. I've seen this event several times already for sure. Um, yeah. And that's misspelled too. We're gonna fire Captain Schufeld, considering we don't even know anything about him. Although, Meade is incompetent also, but. Um, eh, might as well fire Schufeld. Lightweight scantlings, weight saving. Sank the submarine Morse in the Caribbean. How is this going? Yeah, we lost one merchant. We, I guess we lost two merchants total. And we sank a submarine for it. They're not exactly ripping our trade to shreds. They have a nice light force here now, but... And they upgraded their airbase, I see. But they, uh... All their battleships are still... Well, actually six, I see. But they are moving some, okay. Looks like they're probably planning to make a fight of it then. Oh, they're going to accept this one. All right. Oh, no, they're not. Oh. Okay. We're definitely having a uh, back-and-forth clash with these French submarines, but, I mean, they're not... I um, have to build another destroyer now. A new Terry. See, France, strike me down. I can replace... Um, I don't know what I was going for there. I can do this all day, France. <laughs> they're, they're down to seven. They're building 65 submarines down now, but they're down to seven. And I literally don't even know what to spend my budget on. Carriers, I think, probably. But, uh, well, and I need a new battle cruiser now. But I'm not sure. I'm probably not going to just build another constellation. Its deck armor is way too thin, actually, for a really modern. Uh, I mean, there's a reason the AI is starting to build four inch deck battle cruisers. I probably should also. But I'm. 
kind of just hoping the war ends shortly now. Another of their light cruisers interned. We finished a destroyer. One sixteen. Ooh, secondary directors for cruisers, and we've taken Tonkin. Yeah, France, you wanna surrender any time now? Mm, oh, it's actually slower than our torpedo bombers. Isn't that nice? Um, yeah. Well, all right. We've taken Tonkin. So this is a wildly successful war now. I guess we just move straight on to Anam, -An, and if France wants to keep fighting, we'll just annex the whole of French Indochina. And then maybe even, like, some of the New Caledonia, like, just ruin the whole French Empire in one stroke. We're also only a year away from completing the whole Illinois class now. Hmm. I mean, we really do have too much money. Let's, um... See about a new battle cruiser, shall we? Uh, hold on. The existing constitutions: twenty-eight knots, twelve-inch belt, two and a half-inch deck, eight sixteen-inch guns. What? No. Why did you do that? Okay. It failed to auto design a battle cruiser, but that's on it, I guess. Yeah, torpedo defense three. Speed I want thirty knots. And I really want Hmm. Okay, now I'm curious actually. Does the existing design have No, it is normal priority. I thought that was what was standard on battle cruisers. Okay. 29 knots. Oil. Normal engine priority. Torpedo defense 3. All or nothing. 4 inch deck. 12 inch belt. This many secondaries. That many 16-inch guns. Can I do a Nelson type configuration? Is that allowed? Yeah. I don't think so. Pack the top side with AA. Do I have AA directors? Is that valid? It is. Definitely need a secondary director. Okay, so now the only problem with it is that it weighs like... Oh boy. It weighs 44,000 tons. That is a lot. That's a whole lot. Uh, particularly for having the same gun armament as the last class. Yeah, we can save a little on secondaries. It's really not supposed to get close to things anyway. It's still real heavy. Kind of dangerous. Thing about modern guns is, though, 12 inch belt that penetrates at 20,000. Hmm. So there's an immunity belt for it between about 20,000 and 23,000, by my understanding of these things. Belt does have to be a little thicker if we really want. All right, maybe I leave it with 13 inch turrets because I really don't want flash fires. Okay. 
Oh, that's too much weight. Okay. No, that's not like it's expensive enough already. Might as well add the inclined belt. Okay. I like it. Partially because I'm not going to have to build a whole lot of them in the immediate future, but I like it. The 30 knots is a big part of why it's so heavy too, but that's just what's going to be necessary to keep up with the latest, like, the Russians are building 30 knot battle cruisers now. This whole rim, in fact, they have four of them apparently. And this one makes 30, yeah. People are starting to build 30 knot battle cruisers, so we're going to need them also. Oh dang, they've suddenly got a couple battleships here, but they still don't want to fight. I, mean, we, I think we knocked the stuffing out of them a little in the uh, Caribbean, but... I do not think that it's such a pity as below-average Rear Admiral Wheeler is without a seagoing command. He is actually performing a vital duty in the coal lighter and la laundry barge uh, administration. Struggling, oh boy, night-capable airships. We have no airships. And I'm... I did turn that to low, right? Yep. We're just inventing stuff anyway. Because there's no option to turn the priority to none. <laughs> okay, we're embarking. Are they going to fight this? No. No interference. Huzzah. Ah, oh, great. They're going to accept this. I Coastal rates are not... They're mostly just annoying. Alright, we've got two heavy cruisers, two, three light cruisers, and we have San Diego. See, the thing is, a coastal raid like this, it's not like we can actually bombard the port or disable anything of substance, so it's mostly... Oh, I should... I forgot we'd taken this airfield. I should actually put aircraft in it. Um, it's mostly just an opportunity to let their torpedo bombers, if they have any, uh, try to kill us. But oh well. Hmm. There's one something down there. Could be a destroyer on coastal patrol duties. Could be something else. We're going to go investigate it either way. Oh, there's also some in front of us. Well, I did see that our objective is officially just to sink two ships, so we're just going to hope that the... Aha! Spotted something. Well, whatever it is, uh, go ahead and run it down and blow it up. Uh, we're just going to hope that our aerial reconnaissance can actually help us find some things, and we're going to blow those things up. That ship just did a pirouette for us. That's nice. It's a Corvette. At least it's an actual Corvette, I think. One of the, um, yeah, they've got like 30 of them. Not just an auto-generated, like, patrol ship design. Okay, it's dead. Yeah, it's gone. Sure, you can pick up survivors. I, do we really need to pick up... Do two ships really have to be detached to pick up survivors? Sure. Whoopsies. Well, actually, why is the carrier division... Not separate? Anyway, it should be. Well, okay. Okay. Back to cruising speed, and let's check by the port, essentially. 
And hopefully we find something else worth sinking. No? Two ships, huh? Let's see what we got. Looks like two destroyers to me. Because they're real fast. And, oh wow. That was some accurate gunnery, actually. Three, six, or maybe even... Which ship landed those hits? Can't see now. Six or eight inch shells at this uh, on moving targets. At this range, not bad. It's not like we've got radar guidance or anything yet. There we go. There we go. I mean, these are just definitely destroyers. I know they're, you know, destroyers aren't as flimsy as they were at the start of the game, but uh, they're still only 1,400 tons. They're not going to take a whole lot of 6-inch shells before they're dead. Some of our destroyers were landing 5-inch hits there, even. Yeah, I, honestly, we could probably refocus on the other destroyer. Now, I notice we're inside torpedo range. Hopefully, we're not actually getting torpedoed. Because that would certainly put a damper on things. You know, this thing is still going. It should be pretty damaged, but... Enemy aircraft. Well, I know there are enemy aircraft around. However, I think that the odds of them landing serious hits against us are pretty dang low still. Damn it. Just as I was turning to try to avoid that, too. Okay, we just plastered that with a bunch of 9-inch shells, I'm pretty sure it's dead. Brooklyn, you wanna limp north, maybe? It should, I mean, it's a fairly, yeah, I mean, one torpedo is not gonna sink Brooklyn. But it's just annoying. Yeah, fairly certain the Ark class destroyer is dead. Who's launching torpedo? Okay. Uncalled for, to be honest with you guys. But um, let's go hunt down this other destroyer that's somehow still alive. Yeah, I know. I didn't. I was going to. This didn't work that well in the last battle, but hopefully, because there's actually a friendly base in a. What's that now? Close enemy prevents... Oh. There is... The destroyer is kind of perilously close to San Diego, huh? Lost track of where she was after... I lost control of her, but... Not overly worried about it, since it's a single destroyer, and it's dead now. You know, I haven't officially achieved my sink two ships objective, which means that other destroyer is still afloat. Which is annoying. That was a bold torpedo salvo. Okay, yeah, I'm noticing that Brooklyn has also not actually gone home. I, however, am going to go home. Because I doubt there's much of anything else worth sinking. And I'm confident we've sunk at least two ships, which was the objective. No, I really can't. Uh, it just says coast. Oh, yeah, it's sink two ships. We've definitely sunk. There we go. All right, let's go home. Is San Diego actually coming with? Yes, she is. That's good. Considering I'm not actually ordering her anymore. 
I don't care how many transports there are. I'm entirely uninterested in sinking anonymous freighters. We have plenty of VP. Are you kidding me? God damn it. All right, that's not hugely more expensive than this is uh this is why I hate coastal raids by the way. <laughs> not just cuz the mines, but just because loitering off the enemy coast for an extended period for some really vague objectives is almost always a bad idea. <sighs> it's not that we can't replace Brooklyn. We can, pretty easily, but... just incredibly... wasteful. You guys want to actually... Go into the uh, into the port, please. That'll do it. Okay, so we sank the destroyers Francisc at Musquet um, and the Corvette Quebec, and Brooklyn was sunk by a torpedo and a mine, which is. Very unlucky and unfortunate. But we'll get over it. Improved oil burners, 2% weight saving, and we've taken Anam. See, that's worth the loss of Brooklyn, ultimately. Even if it is still annoying. We've only got one serious objective left, which is Cochin, China. We take the last of French Indochina. I think they're out of airbound. They still have an airbase down there, apparently. But um, I should probably put aircraft in these airbases, huh? What belongs here? Probably... Do I have a decent... Um... I do have a pretty decent naval patrol aircraft, I guess. Or we just use a medium bomber for the job, considering it literally has longer range, actually. Yeah, all right. I'm just going to put, like... About... Eight medium bombers for scouting duties, and... A dozen fighters for shooting things down duties in each of these. Oops. There we are. Um, hmm. There's probably things that aren't perfect about the Brooklyn design at this point, but I think it's pretty good and I'm too lazy to build a new design right now, so... Jeez, oh, the design is 10 years old? Okay, well... Maybe I do need to build a new one then. Thicker deck, less belt, 30 knots, probably. Hmm. 
Jeez, the blink care hangar is that cheap weight-wise? Well, not really. I have to take the aircraft off. And the catapult. And probably the torpedo mounts. Okay. Still this heavy, huh? You know, the conning tower is super light, right? Yeah. So this is going to amount to 16,000 tons if I build this like this, huh? Okay, what if I... Hmm. I can save 100 tons if I build it this way. actually one less gun though but I kind of like having spare turrets so to speak that's probably fine then it didn't have enough AA on it did it I'll look when it's the science done but I forgot to look at that kind of forgot to optimize it with Congress too though Are they really going to accept this? Didn't think so. Okay, peace. Peace in our time. We will take Koshi in China just to make a finish of it. And that... Oh. When was Captain Junior Grade Holmes captured? Interesting. Struggling with fixed zone AA barrage. And that is the end of that. We have won the war with France. We got the French Antilles. We got the entirety of French Indochina. Thanks for watching, sailors. I hope you enjoyed. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like or subscribing. Have a nice day, sailors. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.